Women have the reputation for being able to talk about anything. But the reality is there are two incredibly important topics that many women just don't talk about openly enough or often enough. And those two topics are money and sex. Now, joining us now to explain how we can get more comfortable asking for what we want from the bank to the bedroom is Susan Hirschman, author of Does This Make My Assets Look Fat? And our two sex experts, Mary Wallace Yench and Rachel Braun Sherl from Sempre Laboratories. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having us. All right, so let's talk about this. And, and I don't understand this. Why this problem about, you know, having the courage to ask for money and sex? But Susan, let's start with you. Uh, Money-wise, what's the issue? You know, the issue is, did you ever talk about this at home? No. At home, when I was younger? Yeah. No, not yeah. really. It was actually taboo. Right, it was taboo. And then secondly, think about all the emotional issues that come along with money. Self-worth, self-esteem, power, control, passion. All those emotions come along with money. It's a very intimate topic to talk about. And there are intimate fears, no doubt, Rachel, in the bedroom as well. I would even think more so. I have to be honest. Absolutely. And a lot of women are not raised with the language to talk about sexual satisfaction. I wasn't, you know, Catholic home, wasn't allowed to talk about it. They talk more about the mechanics maybe or the relationships, but often we find that women really just don't have the words to know what it is to ask for and even that it is something that they can ask for and expect for themselves. So here the problem is language, right? Well, when you think about it, both money and sex, the language is very male. Uh, it, it is. It's been created by men for men to talk to each other, but not really for women to talk to each well, other. Well, because if we talk like a man does, then what do we get heat for? Talking huh? like a man. Talking like a man. And, and then know, we're called other names. And it's so funny. One of the key terms that we use in investing is alpha. So, it, and what does that mean? Right? What does that mean? What does that mean? It means return. But do you know that? No. Exactly. Okay. So how do we? How do we? How do we get comfortable? How do we get more open? Uh, regarding money, Susan? You know, the basic thing is, is almost like a who, what, where, when, and why, right? Where are you today? What does your situation look like? What do you want? That's the most important thing. What is it that you really want? Why do you want those things so much? Why are they meaningful to you? And then how are you going to get there? Once you know those answers, then you get what I call the magic. And the magic is the three C's. Oh, and yes. Three C's? <laughs> yes. I could think of one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's cash. <laughs> I, that's what I was thinking, cash. Oh, I was going somewhere else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's, it's comfort. Comfort. Confidence. And control. Oh, and once you get those three C's, yes, you're the in business. Then coming. you have <laughs> yes. Then you have the what I like to call the magic. Then you're on the road to financial success. Do you think those three C's could help with the magic in the bedroom? Absolutely. I mean, if you're confident enough and comfortable enough to start the conversation. Um, hopefully with your partner, but if not with your partner, with somebody else that you're comfortable talking to, it just enables you to think about it in a completely different way. All right, but let's, let's take me for example. I'm pretty open. I don't know how assertive I would be my, with my husband, but um, what line would I use? You guys know me kind of like, you know, what would you say? Well, I think it's as simple as, would you like to try something different? Oh, he'd our, like that. That's right. Yeah. Our, he'd <laughs> like to hear that. <laughs> our experience is, is that most partners are very open to the fact that a woman is interested in talking about it because we don't talk about it. And so that in and of itself can change the whole dynamic. But simple, easy, effortless questions. Make it easy. Take it in small, small segments. Rachel, your thoughts on a couple lines? I think this is really, really important. The average woman in a committed relationship is having intimacy once a week. She should enjoy it, and she should know that there are things that are easy that she could do to have uh, better sex effortlessly. Like what? So you could change it up a little bit. As Mary said, you can ask a question. You can change the lighting. You could switch rooms. You could try um, some products. You could try Zestro, which is a topical oil that the woman applies or her partner applies, and it improves arousal, desire, and satisfaction within three to five minutes. Just knowing that there are some options often really just changes the whole dynamic. And no doubt, it, it may not be an easy step to do, but with time, one could get there, and one deserves it. A woman deserves it, right? Absolutely. Exactly. And financial freedom is the most important thing that you deserve. Financial freedom. And sexual freedom. Yes. Sexual <laughs> satisfaction. And yes. sexual satisfaction. <laughs> so maybe I'll use the line, you know, not that I need to, but instead of once a week, you know, sweetie, about a few times a week. 
I'm sure that he would be very. Quick. I'm sure he'd be the first one to say, well, let's go. You're a very quick study. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, thank you very much. Again, thanks for being here, both of you. We're going to see you again in the future. Susan, thank you very much. You're Good welcome. luck with the book. It thank was great you. having you. Lots of fun. I've learned a lot. And if you want to check out Susan's new book, the name again is Does This Make My Assets Look Fat? A Woman's Guide to Finding Financial Empowerment and Success. Just go to myfatassets.com. And for more tips talking about your love life or your sex life, go to Zestra.com. Today's show is brought to you in part by Zestra, a natural blend of botanical oils and extracts clinically proven to enhance a woman's desire, arousal, and satisfaction. Experience the Zestra rush for yourself.